Good morning, Bakerton. I am running just a few minutes late this morning, uh, but I am so glad that you are here with us today as we greet you and to tell you uh, that God is still good. And uh, we are excited about all that God is doing for us and uh, want to just give you a few uh, updates and uh, ask you to please tune in this week for our Zion Association meeting. We will meet at Zion uh, virtually on Tuesday starting at 930 and we'll go from about 930 till about 1130-ish uh, or so. Uh, and, but the blessed thing is they'll be recorded so you'll be able to view those at any time. And so we certainly ask if you can to view them, view us as we go live uh, at 9.30 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday uh, for our annual session. And we certainly ask that you be a supporter of Zion, uh, both with your presence. We want to see your views, want to see you pop up as views, and also uh, you have an opportunity to give to uh, Zion. And so thank you so much for your support. I want to ask again... Uh, Today, if you would, to remember and to pray for our church family. Uh, each one of us uh, need your prayers, and we want to stay connected uh, one, with the, one with another. I want to ask you, as I, uh, uh, to, if you know somebody who perhaps they have not been contacted by some of our members, or if you're one of those folk who have been contacted either by a card or by a phone call from someone in our, in our, our church leadership, then please, please uh, call somebody. And uh, tell somebody uh, that you uh, haven't been uh, contacted. And we certainly, our, our leadership team certainly will reach out to you and to uh, just, we want to we wanna stay connected. So help us stay connected one with another. And even if you don't have your deacon's phone number or if you don't have my phone number, call somebody in church because somebody has somebody's phone number who has somebody's phone number and we'll be able to make contact with you. Amen. So look forward to uh, hearing from you. And let's stay connected uh, while we may be socially distant. Uh, let's stay, uh, while we may be physically distant, rather, let's stay socially connected. Amen. God bless you. I'm looking at my friends that are coming on. God bless you all. And to our Bacon and members, God bless you. It's good to see you this morning as you sign in. Uh, please take all of our announcements and just uh, remember the uh, main thing uh, this week is that our Zion Association is meeting and we look forward to seeing you uh, online with us at Zion. So I was thinking this morning, I got up early. Uh, now, I, I didn't start late because I got up late. I got up early this morning, uh, took a walk around, and began to just look, a, look around uh, our yard and thank God for, for what he has already done for us. And as I thought about that, I uh, began to meditate a little bit on Psalms 106. And, and you only, I would ask you to read that whole Psalms 106. There's a chronicle there, if you will, of uh, God's people. Uh, turning to God, turn away from God, turning back to God, and turning away from God. And God was merciful in all of that. And then the very end of that, I just want to read this to you. The very end, starting at verse 43, uh, I'll read a few verses there. Listen, uh, God delivered them numerous times, but they were determined to rebel. So they were brought down by their own sin. But God saw their distress when he heard their loud cries. God remembered his covenant for their sake. And because of how faithful love he has, God changed his mind. God allowed them to receive compassion from their captors. Lord, our God, save us. Gather us back from among all the nations so that we can give thanks to your holy name and rejoice in your praise. Bless the Lord the God of Israel from forever ago to forever now from now and let all the people say amen praise the Lord the psalmist ends Psalms 106 it prepares to go uh, and the next psalm is Psalm 107 where the psalmist says and let the redeemed of the Lord say so but as he ends Psalms 106 he says Lord you've been good to us from forever before and for, and you will be good to us forever from now. And so I trust God with that. And all the people said, amen. Praise the Lord that God is good. We can trust him with our very being. In the midst of all that you may be going, dealing with, a 
are going through, I declare to you today on this good morning time that God is still good and we praise him. He's good. He was good back then. He's good today. And this psalmist says, forever from now, he will be good. And so I praise God today for his goodness and for his mercy. As I look around, I encourage you to focus on what you have. Thank God for the blessings that he has bestowed upon you. Thank God that things are as well as they are. And as we thank God for things being as well as they are, I'm sure that you will begin to feel a praise well up inside of you and you'll be even better than you were before. As I end this time with you, I want to ask a special prayer uh, today that you pray especially for our schools and, and for our nation, period, as we go through this. But pray especially as we go into this time of decision-making for our schools and for our children. Uh, many parents are concerned. Many teachers are concerned. And I'd ask that you pray uh, for our school. And Bacon, and I want to ask you uh, to join with me and send a very special prayer for our superintendent of schools as he makes decisions that, uh, and, and leads the board in making decisions that affect our school. Uh, the board relies heavily upon his recommendation. And so uh, whatever decisions they make, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it weighs heavily upon him. And so just call out Dr. Dr. Perry's name as you uh, pray today. And as you pray for Dr. Perry, you'll also be praying for all of those that work uh, for him, uh, for the Board of Education. So be praying that they'll make good decisions and, and, uh, and our children will be safe, our teachers will be safe, all of our staff will be safe as we uh, prepare uh, to return to school. Pray for, I'm going to ask that you pray for our, our leadership, uh, from our president uh, to our governor to our county commissioners to our mayors, all of those folk who are involved in making decisions that affect our lives. Pray for them. The scripture tells us not to pray for them because we agree with them, not to pray for them because they're right, not to pray for them because they're wrong, but the scripture says pray for those in authority over us that we might live a peaceable life. And so you do yourselves a disservice. Listen to me. You do yourselves a disservice when you don't pray for godly wisdom from our leaders. So pray for our leaders. Pray for them. Pray for them that we might live a peaceful life. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you back at 930 for our Sunday school and at 11 o'clock for our morning worship. God bless you. And if you come early enough, you can get the same seat. God bless you. See you at 930.